Welcome back. Well, this is the dread video I never wanted to bring you. A week ago to the day we lost our beloved Benny. It's taken me this much time to uh, spool up the spool up the courage to even talk about it. It's uh, been very difficult. Um, Benny uh, lived for 12 and a half years. And uh, for those of you who were around uh, five years ago or so, um, he, was given, he was given an additional five and a half years uh, miraculously by our Lord. He had uh, contracted a very deadly cancer. Um, and um, his spleen, when it was removed, was the size of a large grapefruit. Um, it was massive, full of cancer, and he had hundreds of uh, cancerous tumors all throughout his uh, inside of his body. They saw them. They opened them up from one end to the other, and, and it was obvious that uh, he was filled with cancer, and uh, they advised us, as a matter of fact, to let him go on the table uh, because uh, his, his cancer was uh, basically it was, it was sufficient to kill him within a few days if, if we didn't let him just be put down. Well, um, I decided to uh, take a different route and uh, to pray for a miracle. And at that time, uh, I, I produced a uh, tribute to him online here that was since taken down. And um, I told each of you what was going on. I showed how Benny was collapsing at my side. He was really, that Sunday, he was, um, he was definitely dying. Um, he had he had no he had no ability to sit up on his own. Um, he barely could walk, uh, and um, the eight or so eight or nine days or so that they said that he had remaining were pretty much uh, gone. But uh, after I aired that video, uh, hundreds of you recounted by by eight o'clock that evening that Sunday evening we had. We had basically cried through, you know, over 350 uh, condolences from, from so many of you. And uh, they continued to pour in. And uh, not only condolences, but people saying that they would pray for, pray for Benny and pray for us. So at 12 o'clock that night, um, I, almost had to, I almost had to carry him outside uh, to get basically, it was, it was midnight. Um, but I took him out on his leash out the back door and led him out to this corner. And uh, when he got around by his fire plug, which he never used, by the way, he was he was a country boy. He wasn't he wasn't a city boy. He didn't really know what the fire plug was. I think we thought he'd like to use it, but he, he's a city he's not a city boy, so he was using his trees. So anyway, he came out this corner, and um, suddenly his tail just miraculously picked up and started wagging and his ears picked up and his eyes turned bright and that was Benny. That's, that's the Benny that we, we had for the, for the next uh, five years to grace us and to uh, keep us company. But, um, and thanks be to God, I mean our Lord Jesus Christ was so merciful to uh, give him back to us for another five years. But just like Lazarus, uh, you know, he, he brought Lazarus out of the tomb after three days, but uh, Lazarus too had to die like each of us. So, uh, so it was Benny's time. And I'll relate a little bit about um, what happened. Um, he was more or less a uh, COVID situation victim, not a COVID disease victim, but uh, you know, we had, supermarkets, shelves, and uh, every, every resource that we uh, had available to get his, his own particular food uh, were just not, just not available. We didn't, have, we, we didn't have the ability to get the kind of food that he had been accustomed to eating. And anybody who knows, uh, anybody who has uh, pets knows that uh, they just can't transition from one food to another like a person can do. Um, so it was disastrous for him. We didn't have enough of his own food on hand at the time this, this crisis started to intermingle with his, uh, with his new food to, to uh, get him acclimated to it. And what, what was even worse was that 
uh, on a weekly basis. We could only get so much food on a, you know, at a given time. And uh, on a weekly basis, uh, his diet had to change because they had a different brand that just came in. So it was a, it was a catastrophe for him. Uh, he started losing weight gradually over a year and a half ago, um, not, not, not too badly, and we, we thought perhaps it was um, not going to be a, a, a bad situation. But his eating habits had really declined. He, he, used, to, he used to eat very well. Throughout the day, he was a, he was a grazer. He would, eat, he would eat a bite as he went by the bowl every now and then. But he always ate, he always ate a full bowl of food. But that started to change. and. Um, in the last uh, month and a half, his weight loss had become uh, drastic, and uh, muscle mass started to deteriorate. And it finally came to pass about uh, two weeks ago that um, we came home from uh, we came home from uh, being out one evening, and and uh, when we walked into the door, we realized he couldn't he couldn't get up on his hind legs. So, uh, and two days prior to that, he had stopped eating. Um, he was still taking water, and he'd still take his uh, little milk bone when he went to bed at night and everything. But, um, but eventually, that uh, his his uh, desire to eat completely ceased, and um, we decided that as long as he was not in pain and he showed no evidence of being in pain whatsoever, he was very happy. His tail wagged, uh, and he uh, his, his his he was very alert and uh, happy with us. So. Uh, he went into a basically a hospice style situation uh, to die, and uh, just about just about one week after uh, he stopped uh, walking um, is when he passed. And he waited for he waited for my wife and me to stop uh, to basically to to take a nap uh, while we were watching. We fell asleep while we were watching uh, a movie, and uh, that's when he chose to. Uh, that's when he chose to uh, breathe his last. Um, so it's been a very tough week, and it's, uh, it, it's taken me this long to bring this video to you. But um, continue to pray for my wife and me for, you know, to, to help ease our pain. Um, Benny, is, uh, Benny is, a, is a memory that uh, we will always have. Uh, he was a wonderful dog. Anybody who has ever had Brittany's knows that there's something very, very special about a Brittany. Um, I, you know, I've had in my life and my wife, in my wife and her life, we've, we've owned, we've owned a number of wonderful dogs and we grieve the loss of all of them. But uh, Benny was so special that uh, it, it was just, it just so special. Uh, a very loving dog, always wanted to be with us. Um, and um, he was wonderful with his children, with his, uh, with the grandchildren. He, they all pretty much grew up with him. Um, and uh, they had a chance to say in his uh, last, his his last week, uh, they had a chance to spend some quality time with him, and uh, say their goodbyes too. So uh, we're we're very fortunate that. Uh, we're very fortunate that God gave us uh, the blessing of having him uh, not only for the last five years that uh, you know were his miracle, but uh, also too for um, the, the 12 and a half years that we've had him since, a, since being a pup. And um, that, that time doesn't seem that long ago when he was uh, just a little guy. And um, running around here in the backyard. So, um, thank you for watching, and um, God bless.
You're getting very demanding in your old age. Mm-hmm. <laughs>